Hi, I'm Mrs. Wonder, and I'm super excited that we're here to record a video for you today. We are going to be reading one of our favorite books. This is Abby. And this is Abigail is going to join me in reading today. We love to read at our house. One of our favorite things to do at night is to read as a family. So Abby and Andrew often read together or they listen to books that Mr. Wonder and I read. We often read chapter books like Harry Potter or Abby and Andrew read books to each other or we discuss stories. We love learning information from stories like nonfiction books and we also love picture books and story books. One of our family favorites is Dr. Seuss as an author, and we know his birthday is coming up next month. But today we're going to read an old favorite. It was a favorite of mine as a kid, and I read it to Abby and Andrew when they were kids, and now they help read it with me. We're going to read the story Corduroy. Now I know many of you have probably heard this story, but as you know, good readers reread books many times and we can always learn something new. So here is Corduroy by Don Freeman. We're gonna take turns reading together. See how this goes. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. The, the day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. You have to look at the book. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl sto stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother said. I spend m too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Oh, no. Corduroy watched them sadly as he they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Oops. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. There he's going. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas, and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed, and he crawled up onto the mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws. Until pop, off came the button and off the mattress, corduroy toppled. B bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his round on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came down the escalator. Now who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and, and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? 
The watchman talked, tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with all the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store in the, in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. So look at that. She went and used her own money to buy the bear. Shall I put him in, the, in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. She was so excited, she didn't even ask for it to be boxed up. Look at that. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers. And along and alongside a, a girl side bed, size bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like th that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've, I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Cordura on her lap and began to sew a button over on his overalls. I like you just the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fixed. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. We hope you enjoyed Corduroy by Don Freeman with Abby and Mrs. Wonder reading. Have a great day. Bye.